Hello everybody and welcome to the next follow along exercise. In this follow along exercise we are going to use filters to refine our drawing which we made. So let's get started. First I'm going to select the sun and I'm going to go to filters, filter editor. As we can see there is already a filter applied. How can that be? Well, if we open the fill and stroke dialogs, we see that we have applied a blur to the sun. The blur is immediately translated to an effect in Inkscape and the effect is applied. So in other words, this blur is just a filter effect. We are going to remove it because we are going to add another filter, one which we designed all by ourselves. Let's click on new and let's rename the filter to um, sun. And let's start by adding a turbulent effect. Let's close the fill and stroke dialog quickly. So the turbulent effect. We would want to set our frequency to be a 0, 0,006 in the x direction and 0, 0,07 in the y direction. So first of all, we click on link to decouple the x and the y direction. And then we set the values here. We leave octaves and seed as is 1 and 0 respectively. Let's apply the filter and see what happens. We see that the original sun shape has been replaced with a turbulent shape. This is not exactly what we want. We want our sun shape back and we want the turbulent superimposed on top of the sun. So we're going to go to blend and we're going to click on add effect. And as our first input we want the turbulence and as the second input to the blend we want the original shape, the source graphic. Because the turbulence is quite transparent we can now see the sun quite clearly underneath the turbulence. If you like you can experiment with the mode multiply screen darken lighten but I'm going to leave it on normal. Let's move this up a little bit. So we can see the sun underneath the turbulence but what we uh, want is to remove the turbulence in the corners. We want to only see the turbulence where the sun exists. In order to do that we're going to use the composite effect. Recall that composite functions, composite filter effects are like boolean functions. Uh, we want now to see only the top part, only this part of the object and we want to make this part invisible, the corners where we can see only the turbulence. In order to do that we want the output from the turbulence and the blend to be the first input and the second input should be the source graphic. And we want the operator in. Recall that in means that the bottom determines which part of the top is visible. The top would be the combination of blend and turbulence and the bottom would be the source graphic. And there we have it. We have our sun shape with a turbulent shape superimposed on top of it. 
Uh, we are going to learn some more. We are going to modify this shape, this uh, sunset picture a bit more. But first we are going to learn some more filter effects. So have a look at my next lesson. See you then. Bye bye.